Well, now we turn to a disturbing case of child abuse near Ripley. It's taken a sad turn with the death of a baby who was injured in early January. Well, tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Bob Barron says a Jackson County man is facing a new charge in the death of baby Everly. The shocking injuries a three-month-old girl received while John Michael Thames was babysitting January 5th took an emotional toll on even veteran law enforcement officers trying to save her and determine what had happened. Many Jackson County residents had prayed for baby Everly's recovery. She succumbed to her injury Sunday. The 24-year-old Ripley man had already been charged with child abuse after admitting that he swung her hard enough to strike the floor of the trailer and possibly fracture her skull. Nothing short of brutal. But now the charges against Mr. Taines have been upgraded to child abuse causing death. It is a 15 to life type of case now. And just to be honest with you, I hope the judge absolutely hammers him. While the incident happened outside of the city, a Ripley police officer responded to the call of an unresponsive child, rushed the baby to Jackson General Hospital in his cruiser as firefighters gave first aid. The three month old was stabilized at Jackson General and was ultimately transferred to Ruby Memorial in Morgantown but she never recovered from the head trauma. His, his bond is set at 500,000. Uh, even though it is a 15 to life case, um, he is entitled to bond. It's, it's slightly different than a murder charge, but right now it's the most fitting charge to get him into the system. You know, I would anticipate maybe some other charges during the grand jury. The sheriff says Thames waived a preliminary hearing on the death of a child by parent, guardian, or custodian by child abuse charge, sending it to the circuit court with probable cause to present it to a grand jury. In Ripley, Bob Aaron, Eyewitness News. And you know what's also terrible about this whole story is that we found that court documents show the child's injuries included skeletal fractures and brain hemorrhaging. Thanks so much for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell notification to get the very latest.